Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. Today we're going to discuss David's mother. Once again, this is a biblical woman who isn't identified with a name. So since we don't know her name, we're going to call her David's mother, King David. How about that? King David's mother. And King David was appointed by God himself. Appointed by God. So we're going to start off by establishing that David has a father and a mother that he cares about. He cares about both his mother and his father. And I can show you this in um, 1 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 3. And before I read it, I just want to point out that um, David's mother historically has had a very controversial type of reputation, you know. Um, so I'm taking the time out to talk about David's mother today to clear up the fact that it does not matter what her reputation was. It just doesn't matter. David cared about her. And not only did David, but God cared about her too. So, and I want to show you um, God's favor in this woman's life, okay? Despite any controversial issues around her reputation and her name, whatever her name is. <laughs> the Bible didn't bother to tell us, so... That scripture reads, 1 Samuel chapter 22, verse 3. And David went thence to Mizpah, Mizpah, yeah, of Moab. I just wanted to point out that I'm reading from the King James Bible, the King James Version of the Bible. Okay. And he said unto the king of Moab, let my father and... My mother, I pray thee, come forth and be with you till I know what God will do for me. So David was going through something, and we won't get off into all of that, but he was going through a little something, something, and his parents were, you know, aged, and he wanted them to be safe and secure. He was looking out for his parents, both his mother and his, his father and his mother, both of them. He had both sets of parents. Okay, and he loved his mother. Let me show you that. All right. So let's go over to First Chronicles. Let me go to the search engine here. I'm using um, Bible Gateway. So let's scooch on over to 1 Chronicles 2 and 13. 1 Chronicles. And so, like I was saying, I mean, it doesn't matter what David's mother's reputation is. It doesn't matter. Her purpose, her purpose is huge. Her purpose outweighs any reputation that she may have um, suffered. All right, so here I'm going to show you that Jesse is David's dad. So in here, you're going to see that Jesse has a dad, and it's going to mention, you know, where David comes from. 
So we're looking at 1 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 13. And Jesse begat his firstborn, Eliab. And then he had a second child, and he had a third child. These are all boys, and I'm not going to say all their names. And he had a fourth and a fifth. And then he had a sixth child. David was the seventh, though. David was the seventh son. Then there's a colon. And after the colon, the next verse reads, or the next piece reads, all these seven brothers that were listed here, list here had sisters, two sisters. And these two sisters were uh, Zaria and Abigail. Okay. Now keep in mind, Jesse begat these people. There's nine people, nine, nine people identified. Seven boys and two girls. At this point, there's nine. Okay, so um, I just wanted to point out that Abigail is included in Jesse's children. Take note of that. Okay, this is where that discrepancy comes in, the controversy comes in. Okay. So the next verse I'm going to show you is 2 Samuel 17 and 25. So let's look that up. And right now we're just, you know, setting up the discussion here. Seventeen, chapter seventeen, and verse twenty-five. All right, and here we go. I'll make it bigger for myself. Okay. Now, so we already established that David has a father, and his father's name is Jesse, and Jesse, with his wife. David's mother, because she doesn't have a name. So Jesse and David's mother at this point has seven boys and two girls. And included among those is David, of course, and Abigail. Remember the name Abigail. So 2 Samuel chapter 17 and verse 25 reads, and Absalom made Amasa captain of the host instead of Joab, which Amasa was a man's son, okay, whose name was Ithra, an, Is an Israelite, okay, that went into Abigail, the daughter of Nahash. This is the same Abigail. And how I know is because it says, Abigail, the daughter of Nahash, sister to Zaria. Joab's mother. Zaria, remember? The two daughters. One was Zaria and one was Abigail. So Abigail is being identified here as having Jesse as a father and also as Nahash as a father. Just pointing it out. Does it matter if David's mother had more than one father for that girl? Meaning that maybe one father is a seed father, a natural father, and the other father, perhaps Jesse, is the father that raised her. Who knows? For sure. The Bible is unclear, uncertain on that. However, 
we can only go by what the scripture says. And the scripture says that both these men are Abigail's father. Jesse and Nahash. Okay. But like I said, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who Abigail's father is. It doesn't matter what David's mother may or may not be accused of or is guilty of, has been forgiven of. It doesn't matter. Why? Because this woman right here, she gave birth to the appointed king of Israel. David was appointed by God. This is her baby, her son, her baby, okay? Regardless to what her situation is, her reputation, her baby is the one was appointed by God to be the king of Israel. Her baby is the one is, was that fierce warrior, a tender, tender, fierce warrior. <laughs> was her son flawed? Heck yeah, David was off the chain flawed. <laughs> he was off the chain. But David was after God's own heart. He was a man after God's own heart. And not only that, but let me tell you, he loved his mother. Let me take you to um, Psalms 116 and 16. Let's go there. This man loved his mother despite whatever his mother's issues were. He loved her and so did the Lord. Let's go to Psalm 116. And 16. And it reads. Actually I want to switch. And go to. Uh, I'll read the King James Version. Yeah. I'll read the King James Version. First. And then I'll read. Um, okay. So let me go back to search. And let me go back to. Yeah, and, and King David, he, you know, he also is of the same lineage of Jesus. Jesus is of David's loin. Yes, 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 yes. David's mother hit the jackpot. It don't matter what her reputation is. <laughs> It just don't matter. She had David, you know. And David reads in Psalms 116, 16. O Lord, this is the King James Version. Truly, I am thy servant. He says, truly, there's no doubt, no question. I am your servant. I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. Now that's the King James Version. Let me uh, switch over to the New International Version because I want to define handmaid. I want us to break down the word handmaid. So in the New... International version, it reads like this. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. There is no doubt. I just, oh, Jesus. Okay. I serve you just as my mother did. You hear that? Do you hear that? I serve you just as my mother did. David was a man after God's own heart. 
and he's adapting, modeling his spirituality, his love for the Lord, his behavior and attitude toward the Lord after his mother. You have freed me from my chains. Bonds, chains, chains, same thing. Wow. So does it matter if David's mother was a hoe or not? No. No, it doesn't. She raised David and she raised him to be a man that God appointed to be the king of Israel. Okay. And after God's own heart and Jesus, our Lord and Savior, came from David's own lawn. All right now. It don't get no better than that. And so I am going to continue to teach on um Hoes have purposes too. And this was David's mother.